like Neon's Chorus, Encounter Roleplay presents Encounter Pond!
everyone, it's me. Did you miss me? It's nearly time for some kids on brooms. I'm very excited. I am just finishing setting up a couple of things. But how is everyone doing? Is everyone having fun today? Are you ready for this? What is happening? I think it's rebelling against me. The system's rebelling. What an amazing meat grinder though. Over 440 pounds. That's incredible, Chaos Chorus. Holy shit. Thank you so, so much. We cannot like say enough how grateful we are. Um, that is All Going to Thrive DC, which is a wonderful uh, organization that works with the homeless in DC, gives them access to important services that help and support them. I am just going to update the donate message and catch up on some admin stuff, but are you having a good encounter con? Important. Are you having a good encounter con? This is our first one. Do you like it? Should we do it again? Should we keep going? Guess what? We're going to keep going because tomorrow we have a whole new day of shows coming up. If you want to check out what's coming up in encounter con, our schedule is over in chat right now. That's our donation message. Uh, we will take all of those interactions and add them into the game. And here's our retweets for today. Did I update this? I think I did. I don't remember. I've hit that point in the day where life has become really blurry, but I'm super excited to play this game. This game seems like so much fun. So for anyone not familiar, uh, every stat in the game is assigned a dice. Okay, so your best stat is going to get you d20, and your worst stat is going to get you d4. And I love that. It's modeled on the Kids on Bikes game, but the Kids on Brooms one is all about wizards and witches. It's inspired by that whole genre that's developed of schools, magical schools. And we decided that we wanted to set ours in the world of Letterkenny, which is something I had never heard of before. And having deep dived on the internet, I'm a little bit afraid. This is Canadian hick witches and wizards. Um, and we're all kind of young adults. We've all got to go to school. We've got weird, wonderful lessons. And I declared that I wanted to have a game prom. So I think we're going to have a game prom today. And of course, we're going to be wearing our flannel. Very important. We're wearing our flannel. And we have a sport which you will get to find out more about soon. Uh, I am very excited for the things we have created because considering this game will only run two and a half hours, we've created some wonderful, wonderful things. Uh, it's it's going to be a journey. It's going to be a journey. But I am so excited to take it. And I, I want to keep playing already. We haven't even started playing it. I want to keep playing already. Today, we've had an amazing 15 subscribers. Thank you so much if you've donated one of those gift subs or if you've just resubscribed or joined the Chaos Course for the first time, welcome. If you're joining our streams for the first time, welcome in. This is a special weekend event for the community where we play the games we want to play and we have fun with each other. We just did a charity stream. We started out the game of uh, the day with a ghost stream. And uh, tomorrow we have three more games coming up. We have Atlantis themed Call of Cthulhu, uh, set in Florida in the 1920s, 30s. So I'm super excited for that adventure. That'll be followed up at 2 p.m. Eastern Standard Time by Terra RPG with Donathan Fry. It's a pulp adventure called Jesse Daring and the Temple of the Fallen Star. So if you like Indiana Jones, Temple of Doom, that's what we're doing tomorrow, but with Don's very special twist on it, using the Terra RPG system. Terra RPG developed here on Encounter Roleplay with Don for our Haunting of Seawall series, and it's taken on a whole new lease of life. Uh, it's gone through Alpha, Beta, what comes after that? Testing? Theta? I don't know. Anyway, it's gone through testing and development, and super excited for the version we've got. And then we're rounding out that day tomorrow with a grim and perilous adventure in Zweihander. So lots of awesome options there. And Callie, it's great to have you here. If you like horror and Lovecraft, we've got a couple of shows on during the week that you might want to check out. I'll be running a trailer shortly, which outlines them all. Uh, but keep an eye out for Cult on a Wednesday for some serious adult horror. And on Tuesday, check out our Lovecraft Black Adder Dark Ages mashup. 
with the wonderful Seeker of Pendragon. Uh, lots of other things to check out. You know what? I'm just going to run the trailer, and the trailer can tell you all about our amazing shows. And then we'll get into one. So let's go, everyone. Encounter Con. Encounter Con. Encounter Con. Let me see it in chat. Let's go. You'll die. The Keyon's Chorus. Encounter Con. presents Encounter Con. Encounter Con 2020 Kids on Brooms. We have three books to give away live on the stream tonight, so keep an eye out for that over in chat. Please hit that retweet button and let people know we're playing our last game of day one of Encounter Con. Yeah! Let's go around and say hello to the wonderful cast we've assembled. And why don't we begin with a familiar face, special announcement maker, Penny for a Tale. Hi, Mitch. How you hello. doing, friend? I'm I'm doing good, yeah. Uh, had a lot of fun with the previous game. Super excited about this one. This is going to be a, a silly free for all filled with moosin. So yeah, that's my introduction. Long live Mr. Meaties. Oh yeah, where is he? Yeah. yeah. Mitch is uh, wonderful character from the Fae Grinder who lasted a long time. It would have lasted longer if the Chaos Chorus has had their way. But alas, the forces of Fae cannot be stopped. Someone else that is unstoppable is our very own Cleric of Cord, game three of the day. How are you doing, Cat? Um, I'm here. Um, I'm doing all right. Um, I'd like to thank Mr. Meaties for all those crits he left behind. Um, Puck did appreciate those and did use them. Um, it's tough being a divorce lawyer between the fake courts, um, which is how Puck ended up being poisoned. But anyway, no, I'm here. Um, I'm ready for this. I, I love games like this. I want to be a wizard. Can I be a wizard, Harry? That's, what, that's exactly hey. what we're going to do. Uh, <laughs> All right, then. Let's get this body broke on. Someone who is always magical to me, and I am super glad to join us tonight, is the wonderful Brittany. Hi, welcome to EncounterCon. Hello, everyone. It's me, your protector, here to be a witch. And also, I brought a friend, a lovely friend. This is it's Scooby, oh. but today he's Bandit. This is Bandit today, y'all. Hey, Swings! <laughs> <laughs> And Jinkies, Rex, you seem to have changed from when last I saw you. Welcome back yep. to Hamilton. Uh, yep, I uh, had a wardrobe change in the back, had to remove some stage makeup, and I'm ready to go. I uh, apologize ahead of time if I attempt any amount of a Canadian accent. I know there are, are people that are terrifying on the same continent as me that live in Canada, so... I will do my best to not uh, offend anybody with that. Happy to be here, and thank you everybody for setting up EncounterCon. I make no such claims as to not doing an offensive accent tonight, slash making offensive jokes about Canadians. I know like three things that are generically about Canadians, and I will use all of them tonight. 
Uh, <laughs> handing over now, however, to our master of ceremonies, our king of the dice, our game, ma game master, game master extraordinaire, Mitch. What are we doing tonight? <laughs> Uh, all right. Uh, so we're playing uh, Kids on Brooms. Uh, this is a wonderful game uh, by Renegade Studios. Um, it's just going to be really good now. Um, so on this take that we're doing, uh, it's kind of a very Canadian hick type uh, trope to this whole thing. Uh, so we're going to do our best to, to do that. There will be some laughters, uh, and there will be a big prom, and there might be some... I don't know, like Death Eaters or something. Uh, it really just depends on what happens. Um, but I haven't really done much work for this. Really, it has been this amazing crew who has uh, kind of defined uh, the city that we live in. Uh, so with that uh, note, I think I'm going to throw it back over you and let you guys describe what, what's, the, what's the city, uh, how are you guys schooled, um, how many people are, are in your city? What's your favorite thing to drink, and why is it puppers? And uh, yeah, uh, I'm just gonna throw it off. So we'll we'll do clock clockwork clockwise uh, with uh, cleric. Go ahead. Well, well, we live in the city of Moose Hollow. I go into to the school uh, uh, wizard Kenny. Um, uh, the our our mascot is a moose. Or a trout, we can't decide. Nobody seems to agree quite on what the mascot is. And for <laughs> some reason, Ardeen looks like Rick Moranis. Well, I think if there's ever an option, that's definitely the way you should go. Uh, all right, uh, Brittany, do you have anything to add to that? I know we had an awesome document you can always look over. Um, let's see. Do I have anything to add? Uh, we do have a sport. It's called Hock a Moose. It's a magical hockey polo on a moose. I would love to play that. Uh, the landmark is that we're giant trout fountain. We swear sometimes move. And there's a huge crater outside of town. And there's a class called Spells and Runes for Poets. Because, yeah. Why not? Yeah. Oh, all right, yeah. Rex. Uh, what, what do you have to, to add to that? Uh, you know, we're just, uh, <laughs> at least, I, well, I don't want to say we, but I am uh, a bit of a hick, a uh, wizard hick. Uh, so that just gets shortened out to wick. And I'm just a good old boy farmer that also happens to have magical powers and, you know, between learning defensive magic and moving barley from one place to another, it's a very busy, hard work in life. And uh, Moose Hollow, a little town of like maybe 3,000 people. Always chorn. Yeah. Always chorn. Get her done. Yep. <laughs> All right, uh, last but not least, uh, encounter. What do you have for us? I've never been called that before. I'm just having a moment. Um, so... <laughs> <laughs> My name's like Encounter. Um, so I don't have many details to add. I'm pretty new in town. But our Dean is called Seymour Small. And he welcomed me with an affirming song which, because I'm British, made me deeply uncomfortable and wanting to turn myself inside out and disappear into a hole, which isn't impossible given certain magical gifts. But I have discovered I have a favorite class, and that is Northern Light Studies. It's magical. It's like a watercolor painting in the sky, and you can send messages to people. But uh, we only obviously use it for study, never tamper with the northern lights i'm a very good student like that you know i i try not to cause trouble yeah we never mess with the Alaskans. yeah mm -mm. Nah. Let's keep but I, I have heard it's the the putinas that you have to watch out for in town Oof. the poutine three <laughs> 
Oh yeah. Yeah, the clerics are pretty weird. Yeah. I ran into yeah, that one funny. time. I ran into the ones that didn't. Mm -mm. I cussed one of them out in German, and uh, they did not like that. Mm -mm. Well, they're pooties. Right there. Yeah. So as, as you guys are going on with your day, uh, it's, uh, you, you've done your chore in the morning. Um, it's, it's kind of late afternoon. We're talking about uh, maybe like 12, 12.01, 12 12.02, 12 uh, somewhere around there. Uh, you know at your local uh, gymnasium, there are several flyers uh, put out. Um, and those flyers basically point to the fact that there is going to be a prom for all the homeschool kids as well as the other kids, uh, but mostly for the homeschool kids. Um, it primarily just has the, uh, the back face of the ballerina from Cabin in the Woods, uh, because that's just what someone had on their computer, uh, as well as the date and time of the prom. Uh, you're expected uh, at least to make the attempt to find someone to go with. It doesn't have to be something romantic. It could be uh, platonic or uh, really anything. Um, obviously, you're not allowed to bring your cows or familiars and, and such like that. Uh, so, yeah. Right, that's where we find ourselves. And let's face it, you don't want to end up bringing a jack. Oh. I, I, I got Wayne a new tie just for the occasion. <laughs> Why can't we bring our familiars? You, you just can't have your familiars uh, as your, your, your plus one. But I got him a new tie. I'm sure some, well, some concession ties. and he made. I brought Bandit like a new tie. I even got him a hat. And now, oh my god, now he can't go. Then again, he might just poop all over the place like he did the last time I brought him somewhere. All right, Wayne. Two legs. Two legs. No more than six puppers. You know what happens the last time you drank more than six puppers? Good. All right, he's ready. Yeah, so you guys got some time. Uh, obviously, that is about at least uh, a month. Uh, you know, get everything prepared. But uh, let's zoom in on just kind of an everyday uh, as you guys are hanging out in front of the, the uh, gymnasium. What are you guys up to? What do you guys look like? Well, Shania looks a lot like this. Yeah. Perfect. Yeah, Shania looks a lot like this. Sometimes she wears her hair in pigtails. You know, it just depends on on you know what kind of torn she's been doing. Um, but she looks like a lot like she looks a lot like this. A um, little awkward, kind of standing there watching. Um, she's got a big old stuffed school bag all kinds of things hanging out of it her broom with her she wrote her broom to school it's a it's a well her pa used it for curling but it's actually just a big old bush uh push broom held together with nothing but uh duct tape and bailing wire it's it's, it's a family heirloom uh, especially among mundane families you know they have those kind of heirlooms yeah, good on you. She's got that weather. All right, Brittany. Uh, Savannah S. Morgan. She looks pretty much like me. All of a her hair's a little bit longer. Uh, she has a, I don't know if you can see this, a necklace around her neck. And her, she, she uh, wears like, you know, she has the pl uh, blazer on of her old, over old school, which is Scarlet Cross Academy, but she transferred because something really bad happened there. And in her uh, bag, she has books and stuff. She got a Nintendo Switch popping out of there. And right next to her, and she has her wand on her side and her uh, broom. So it's stuffed in, stuffed in her bag somehow. She just stuffed it in there because she was rushing out. And her uh, familiar is right next to her, and she just like, can't bring my dog. I don't know what to do, man. So, that's Savannah. 
All right, Rex. Uh, I am uh, Benjamin McMurray. Uh, some people at the school call me McMurray, uh, but usually Benji to friends and family. Uh, don't really let anybody else call me that, uh, but except my friends. Uh, Benji is just shy of being at six feet tall. He's a pretty lanky dude. Uh, but he has a good bit of, uh, a good bit of brawn and muscle from Chorin. He doesn't really work out, but his, uh, his parents are regular farmers. They're not magical, so he's expected to do chores the way they do and not, uh, not use too much magic to cheat. So he does them the old fashioned way and he's just chilling there with his, uh, his backpack, his battered backpack. It's all dusty and covered in dirt and everything is sitting on the ground uh, in the parking lot at the gym. And his broom is a big, uh, battered broom as well. Uh, it was his mom's, but it's sturdy, it's faithful and it's lasted this long. And he's just chilling with his friends. So right. I'm McKenna, and I was promised a horse by my mom when we moved to Canada. I didn't get a horse, but I've seen people riding moose in town, and I wouldn't be opposed. I did get a new broom, and uh, I, I think it's pretty impressive as brooms go. I've adopted the school uh, coat of dress, the tartan. Uh, it's pretty comfy, you know? It beats those see-through white blouses they make us wear in England, which, you know, was it's never a plaid, problematic. Not a tartan. Sure. Uh, I'm sorry. Um, it's, it's really hard to fit in here sometimes, but then usually people say sorry, and then I say sorry, and we get in a loop of sorry until we passively, aggressively walk past each other, and I don't feel sorry at all. Maybe they still do, but I, I kind of get over it. Um, I'm still not sure why everything's a question, A. Uh, occasionally I whisper B, but, uh, you know, I'm trying to fit in. I've got some big horse girl hair going on long brown curls and I've adopted this little bandana tie to keep it out of my face for when I'm riding my moose or my broom or the horse that maybe will eventually show up maybe I don't know mom huh you know just teenage things really <laughs> excellent uh, so as you guys are, are chilling out there uh, enjoying a nice, lovely, uh, but uh, cold evening here in Canada. Uh, some of the local, um, they're, they're kind of like the gods. They're, they're kind of they're they're the the wizard equivalents. They're, they're they are the Slytherins in this world, um, but they mostly mostly focus on DJing, you know, all, all sorts of stuff. Well, they're kind of like hair slicked back. Um, wearing some kind of that new age hot topic stuff, um, but they usually like to hang around here. And their uh, head guy comes over and points out uh, who they call Londoner as a as he points in your guys's general direction. And it's like, oi, how's it going? Uh, good and you? Yeah, I wasn't talking to you. I was talking... Pointing at McKenna. Oi. It's to point. Right? Yeah, it's very real to point. My name's not Oi. Yeah, but that's what they say, right? Nah, mate. Yeah, whatever. So, primarily what we're here is... So, we saw you guys checking out the flyers, right? Yeah, I assume so you guys I think you're it. gonna... Yeah, you guys gonna go, right? 
Yeah, we draw? used blood, didn't it? Yeah. Draw? Yeah. So there's another party uh, with a couple of folks uh, coming up from up north. We'll be playing some music. All right. We're going to, we got some, what was it? We got those, um, you know, those little plates and those uh, those glasses where you put your finger on it and it goes around and it makes that noise. It's a revolution in music. Really? What do you, you think? You know we don't uh, yeah. associate with them DJs from up north. It's not your, your town, so... Like step off. What, what step off is that really the best you could do there with your two brain cells, bud? You, you, you know we we don't really have to fight. Like, so you're inviting us to a party, right? Is that what's happening? Yeah, obviously. Maybe we'll go. I only have Kinda one question. Over. What? What kind of music you gonna play at this party? I told you it was it's stuff it's stuff from our new album that we're recording. It's uh, it uses the glass and the water inside it and such like that, and it's got some new age stuff coming around. Uh, something for really the artistic intellectuals that I don't know if some of you guys You're will be not. able to hang with that. Well, I mean. I like trying new things, but usually that means putting on a new Tex Ritter album. New what? I'm with him. What? And oh. Maybe it was just my parents said it was new. I, I asked for music. That's what they got me. They said it was new. Yeah, that that's fine. Uh, yeah, just make sure to come or whatever. It's like ten dollar service charge covered just to get in. So bring money, and they scamper off. Yeah, we'll see. Filling the rest of the day with a nice tranquil afternoon, the Canadian sky overhead, the beautiful clouds, a slight breeze. It's all very calming and surreal. But the big question is, what are you guys going to have for dinner? Uh, now, well, there's that new uh, Tim Hortons in town. Oh, Ooh, man. Tim bit. Bits of Tim. Uh, Deep fried bits of Tim. Uh, yeah. I like Tim's oh, bits. Man. I like that too. What is that? Which Wait. Tim? The one that's uh, on the Hakamus team? Nah, I mean, if they got us, if them, if we get us, if I get us out of the frog legs, I'll be happy. If we can find the Tims that can actually. Do you, make, do you think so. Tim from the Hakamus team would be at Tim Hortons? For no reason at all. I mean, the moosers are usually those kinds of places. We but should definitely go I mean, to I Tim Hortons. I wouldn't know about any of that. Yeah, yeah, let, let, let's go to Tim's. Yeah, let's go to Tim's. Yeah. Sounds like a party. How do you guys, do you guys get in your flying pickup truck? But you guys have brooms, right? So you're just going to fly over or... Yeah, yeah, yeah I'll take the broom. Home. I mean, room. unless I'm still saving for that Murray truck. did bring his hover truck, then we could hover truck. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. It's uh, one of them uh, bench seats. You kind of have, like, three spots, but because it's uh, one of the old Fords, it, uh, we, there's we plenty of room. We only have to push it uphill sometimes. What's this? I, well, that's what I you got the magic for. Not so much of a water. Yes, needs more yeah. power to go over water. I'm still working on yeah. it. It'll take me some time. 
Excellent. You'll get so you it. guys are gonna get in that little pickup truck and. Yeah, so usually we take the Muck Murray to get the Muck Flurry, but today we're going to Tim's. Yeah. The Mick Murray to get yeah, to it's the just, Tim's. It's... Yeah. <laughs> They're all crammed in this rusty <laughs> beater truck that used to be blue. Yeah. As it soars through the, the, uh, <laughs> the air, you guys notice that there is uh, tiny little dots kind of on the same trajectory as your, your pickup truck. Okay, that's weird. And I ain't seeing because I've been this down for a while. Y'all see them little dots right there? Yeah. That's a weird one, eh? I mean... Them geese. Oh, them... Oh, mm-mm. And you see the fan back like, uh-uh. Get them far away from me as possible. Mm-mm. This, mm, you just gotta know how to talk to him. You just gotta know how to talk to him. I heard they took uh, an airliner down once. They yeah, you guys see as it's this coming up that it is indeed a flock of geese. I shift the truck. I have one of those like five speeds on the or well, it'd be a four speed <laughs> with how old it is, but it has like mm -hmm. up and down instead of like first second, you know, first through fourth and reverse. It's like up and down, and I just shift it and I just nose dive this thing underneath the geese because I don't know what that do to a radiator that's uh, about forty years old. I really wish you'd warn me before <laughs> you do this. Yeah, yeah oh, it, it oh, like dips oh, in the back. <laughs> oh, oh, okay, Billy the King, you slow, 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 okay, you slow down for a minute. You need, you need to like, give me almost, you know, a little bit less. Just slow it down. Sorry, ladies. Pick up the bag as it goes by. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so we're gonna come up to our first roll. Uh, my man, why don't you go ahead and make a flight test? Yeah. Or if okay, there's something what else I, you uh, prefer to use, yay. let me know. All right. What uh, what skill is you just that roll? Uh, uh, it is flight. It's one of the the stats. Which? Oh yikes! Which? Uh, um. Now we had something called adversity tokens. How did this work, Mitch? Mm -hmm. Everyone gets three adversity tokens, and depending on what type of action it is, you can assist. Uh, a planned action is something that you can assist with. This is a snap action, uh, which unfortunately is not something you guys can assist with because it's happening like right in and here and there. Okay. Uh, but he can use adversity tokens to boost up his, his die roll. Uh, and of course, you get more when you fail a roll. Okay, so I'm going to use one of them tokens, because uh, flight's my worst. I don't know why I agreed to drive, and I <laughs> rolled a, uh, a one, so... Oh, unless, okay, uh, all right. Uh, unless we all want to die. <laughs> yeah, it sounds like you might. Uh, so you get another adversity token, uh, as one of these geese just tear off half of your, your pickup truck. Um, so now, like, the the passenger side is completely without a door. Um, part of the back is just gone, uh, as a geese kind of flies by going, and just... Oh, geez. It's okay. We're more aerodynamic now. I'm steadily okay. becoming more and more British. Terrible <laughs> things are happening. Well, we have a wind gut, like, coming in. Later. I would like to draw my doing? wand mm -hmm. and point it at that goose. Damn oh, goose. Oh, you're going straight up. You're going to try to fuck with a goose right here and now. Is that what I'm hearing? I'm English. I don't know any better. This is, this is fair. You just got to know how to okay. talk <laughs> What sort oh, of spell? Honk. <laughs> Nailed it. Um, can I do some sort of zapping spell? I want to fry this kind turkey. Of like a, 
Oh, so you're like shooting fire? Are you shooting electricity? Lightning, electric, yes. We're in the sky. I pull from nature itself down into my body and out through my conduit, which is my wand, which is a beautiful instrument. Let me describe it for you. I was given a lovely description. It is a hawthorn wand. And the core is of elk antler. So I am truly in tune with Canada and the core of it. And I channel all of that. Honkity honk, sorry, eh? Zap. Clip that, someone, please. Uh, <laughs> <God>. <laughs> it's like, it's like if Mary Poppins was a wizard yeah, right yeah. now. I want that as my ringtone. Uh, so whenever you're doing magic, uh, it, it's all based on kind of the difficulty set by what you're trying to do. So first off, you're going to look at the magnitude of effect, whether it's natural, unnatural, reality bending. Um, this is unnatural because it's shooting from your wand, and lightning typically doesn't do that. Uh, so that's a plus three to the difficulty. Um, you are trying to affect a person, a small thing, so that's another plus three. Uh, the duration is instantaneous, uh, unless you want to keep it around for, if you just want to shoot out like a submachine gun. Um, <laughs> and how many times have you, is this, a, is this a spell you've used before, or is this like your first time no, I boost. learned it yesterday. I'm sure it's going to go terribly oh. well. <laughs> I I have a feeling I taught you that spell, didn't I? Yes. <laughs> All right. Canadian so I'm, I'm, I'm going to add another plus two to that. So you're you're at a difficulty eight right now to pull this off. Um, okay. So this feels like a fight type of thing. Uh, you just straight up trying to murder it. Uh, so you're gonna roll that dice as well as well, the magic dice, which is D4. Done it. You know, if the goose ends up cooks, then I've maybe overdone it a little bit. I won't have regrets, but I might say sorry. All right. <laughs> okay. No, what cool. were you gonna say? Because you had a full line that I need you to repeat. What was it? It wasn't Zoop. What was it again? Honkity honk. Sorry, eh? Zoop. There we go. <laughs> I give it. You know, pay me enough. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. What's that so one too? Please. I'm, I saw her that spell. I'm very sorry. I will take All right, what am I rolling with? What stat am I using? Uh, yeah, so you're rolling your fight die, and then you're rolling the magic mm -hmm. die, which is a D4. And then All just right. add those I together. Need, if you... The dice are always exploding, so if you ever get like the highest of any roll, you just roll it again and then add the previous one too. I'm rolling the blue dice. We might not see them again after this. Um, I got a four and a two, which would be a six, but I'm gifted. So I get to re-roll my magic die if I fail, which I think I just did, because I think I need to roll eight total. Um, so I'm gonna re-roll and we're gonna hope for a four. <gasps> and they're exploding dice, so I can re-roll that and get even higher. Oh, All right, try exploding. It rolled like <laughs> sixteen, Mitch. It just kept going. Oh. Oh. All right. So this is against a goose, right? So, so the goose is also going to get a roll because I feel like goose are very important. Uh, so, a goose has a twelve in fight. It's uh actually let, let me let me double check that uh Oh I, and I, I spent really one of my adversity to adversity points to do the reroll. Just so people are aware, I do pay attention to the mechanics, I promise. <laughs> oh, so it's a D twenty. Alright. They mm. get a uh, the goose gets a D twenty and fight. So I want you to go ahead and roll that and then a D four for because it's all goose or all geese in our magic. Damn those geese in. Um, I, I got right. a four on the twenty. Oh, that wasn't the eight. That wasn't a d four. And a four on the four that explodes to a three, seven, eleven total the for the geeson. Eleven All total right. for the geeson. You have shocked. Explain how this all turns out as you uh, somewhat so, cook this. I'm leaning out of the absent passenger window. Clinging on for dear life to my very, very good friend, Savannah. Please don't drop me. 
and a honkety honk, sorry, a zap. And there's this bolt, and it cascades through, and very briefly, McKenna's face goes see through x ray. Her hair all stands on end as lightning comes through her body into the one and out the other end, and it zips out towards the goose, and you see it fork out in the shape of an M and then back into the goose again on the way back, and then it comes all the way back into the one, and I judder and I shake, and it comes through into Savannah's body, and then everything goes dark very briefly. Oh, <laughs> did I do it right? Uh, oh, jeez, McKenna, warn a guy when you're doing that while he's driving. And, oh God, yeah. Mostly Bondo. Hey. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, hey. you, you, <laughs> you got him. I, I did it. This is me, with, with McKenna, like, you got it, you, you, you killed the, the goose and you, Great you, you'll learn. Not hey. <laughs> Take that, Goosey. No one yeah. is not so, like, Murray. This goose goes down. You see it hit the, uh, the kind of this farm down below. The other... It's flock mates come down, and as you guys are, are flying away, you realize in the most briefest of moments that you have killed the matriarch of this flock of geese. And one of them is on its little goose in knees, holding up the the head of this this matriarch. Uh, looking at you with tears in its eyes as you guys fly away um, and kind of through the... It, it's hard to hear because of the wind moving through the truck, but some some cries of goose and anguish are are in the, uh, the air that... And one of the geese kind of raises a fist towards you guys as you guys fly away. Fucking A, McKenna, what'd you do? I, oh jeez, McKenna, I thought yes. me, I thought you that bell by mistake. I should have taught you that. I didn't think you was gonna kill of the matriarch. Of, of, I can't even finish the statement. I didn't think I was you know gonna do it either. Somebody's gonna be on somebody's goose shit list. Oh no, what was that, McMurray? You know what happens if they report this truck to the Magical Mounties? I just bought this thing. I can't... I can't bury it in the swamp. Oh, no. Oh, no. It's the Magic Mounties. It's probably got the license plate. Oh, no. All right, quick meta question, fam. What is our strange swear word in this world? Because we cannot use a real swear word, because we're, we're kids. Um... Chicken Fubbly food? Wonkin. Probably won't get this. Timbits. I like Timbits. 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 Stellar. Timbits. Dang. Timbits. Oh. They're saying Hoosier. Mother Timbits. Who's that Hoosier? <laughs> I don't know. We, we gotta beware when we let chat tell us what to say. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> oh, you I know what? Lying. Let's do this. Let's just let's do this. Oh, chaos oh, chorus! Every time. Uh, oh, son of a chaos, chaos chorus! Son of a chaos, <laughs> yeah. of a chaos chorus! You don't really think the Mounties will hear of this, do you? Uh, Only if they report it. The goose wouldn't do that, would they? No, the farmers you never know what just took out with their goose flock. They might. <laughs> Oh, oh, no. Yeah, that's no Mally, you bombing goose. Oh no! God no! Dean Small, we can't have a permanent it. record. It's on the O'Malley. Oh, you know what the O'Malley's will do? No. We can't, I told you that it. spell is only used for like hunting little things. I didn't think he was gonna use it to kill any. It felt any like an emergency. Benji, the you know we'll be all right. Yeah. Look. It's gonna be okay. We get it. It's gonna be okay. Um, the Maddie's magic will be able to right away. We'll Maybe be safe. Oh no! I mean, good. <laughs> oh. We'll, we'll see. I mean, good. What's the idea? Because I want to say like, 
Shania, you only say... you can save us. <laughs> Shania starts digging through her bag, and her hair's still like frizzed out from the the electricity that went flying around. And thankfully, most of the truck is made of bondo. Um, and she starts digging through her bag, and she pulls out a bag of soil. And she says, "All right, if we give him a magical burial, it'll be okay." That's a crazy no, idea, no. but I'm here for it. You're still the one yeah. I turn to in these crazy situations, Shania. You're still the one. Can for you, just a moment, Shania just kind of she gets that look on her face, and her, you can almost see the hard eyes. Okay, uh, yeah, 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 uh, uh, oh, 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 okay, let me remember this one. Okay, um, look out below! And she dumps the bag of dirt over the edge of the truck. On to the geese, or? <laughs> On to the geese. Nearby? <laughs> okay. <laughs> Back around, McMurray, circle around. We're coming yeah, in. Yeah, uh, this thing around in a very, like, it's like so, hopping up and down because it's barely. It'll, it'll yeah. hide our tracks. It'll hide our tracks if we uh, just sprinkle dirt around. You know, like when you're hiding your tracks, we'll sprinkle the dirt around. We'll hide our tracks. Go ahead and find roll me a. Oh, so, are you trying to hide from the geese, or are you trying to? Yeah, to yeah. I'm gonna hide. The, I want to try to hide the tracks of the truck from the geese by sprinkling dirt. All right, excellent. Why don't you go ahead then? I think that's a brains test. Oh, okay. That's a D10 for me. Technically not the brightest in the bunch, but... <laughs> oh, that's a nine. Excellent. As, and you guys are still heading to the bar, right? Oh, and I get a... I get a plus one to brains because I have owls, an owl's feather as the core of my wand. So that'll right. make it a 10 total. Excellent. <laughs> I think we're safe. Yeah. You guys kind of start uh, heading uh, now that you guys have gone through the first obstacle of the day. Heading over to Timmy's bar still. Um, uh, as you guys are kind of facing forward though, um, unbeknownst to you, there is a goose who is reaching down on his little knees, uh, touching the dirt and then placing it in his mouth before looking off to the distance. But yeah, what does this bar look like? Um. A barn. Is it a yeah. barn? Oh, barn. Oh, yeah, got it, got it. Is there <clears throat> moose or cows in it? No, they're outside. In it or it's around it? Safe. Yeah. There's they're like in the pasture. A, yeah, like there's a cow pasture, and it's probably like, let's mm. say, like around the back. That's where they get all the milk from for the coffee. Fresh yeah. milk every day on site. Yep. Only they the use it in the batter for milk. the donuts as well. And I imagine on the bar. side of the barn, in giant lettering, it just says fresh. And they've magically like fixed it so no one can graffiti it to make it say anything rude. It will always just say fresh on the side of this barn. Heck yeah. There's like a thin, a very thin layer of magical lube on the exterior of it, so that if anyone tried to paint it, it just kind of slips off and falls onto the ground. Oh. Uh, so, very very thin layer, so you it's can't really... On like, that don't, yeah, yeah, like, you, you don't, don't want to touch Dixon it because... You know pretty good with that stuff. <laughs> Man, <I laughs> heard, uh, we haven't been able to yeah. do it yet. Her and Chris McQueen yeah. got the yeah. same thing. Yep. <laughs> In America... <laughs> The glazed donuts. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I would like to look for Tim. The, the, the hocker moose player, not the Tim that owns the Tims that makes the Timbits. Tim, the hocker moose player, for no reason, obviously. 
She's All right, cool. Yeah. So um, kind of uh, through the window, just behind the barn, like there, it opens up to this nice little area where there's a couple of park benches that have been stolen from the uh, other town over. And it's been used here as a place to kind of hang out under the, the stars and stuff like that for very romantic manure type dates. Um, and with his legs kind of propped up onto the parking bench, his, his two arms uh, on the ground, uh, making thrusting motions against the earth. His shirt is, uh, or robe, uh, plaid and kind of tattered up is on the park bench. Um, you see several scars on his body and, and sweat kind of dripping down onto the earth below. Um, the veins on his arms and shoulders are kind of like that, that bright blue and, and that kind of pulse as he's obviously on the later end of his workout. Um, his hair flows just over his eyes uh, as his eyes are slightly closed, kind of focusing on the movement of his own muscles. Uh, and his friend is right next to him, a goofy-looking guy uh, with glasses and uh, curly hair uh, who looks to be holding his spit, um, his spit can. So, yeah. Him. Well, get after it. Sorry. M Walk on, uh, talk to him. McKenna? Huh? Go, go, go talk to him. What? Here, I'll leave you be. No. I'm going to head to the bathroom oh. at the back, and I'll leave you ladies to it. I'm going to look at some right and lead her to drool over oh. his. Oh. I'll, I'll come with you. Shania? Ah, yeah. ah, ah, ah. Come on. Come on. He, he, he's right there. You don't want to talk to him? No, what would I say? Hello? He's so pretty. I, I know he's, he's, pretty. he's the most he's the most prettiest man in the world. Right next to Brett Michaels. Who? But I mean you're not even okay, come on. I I gently take, if you're with their permission, I gently take McKenna and I just try to take her away from drooling at Tim. Oh, come on. Oh, he, uh, okay. He'll be there. He'll be there. I. <sighs> Who are you going to ask to prom, Savannah? I, you know what? I don't, I don't even know. I mean, there's, there's that uh, guy in my English in my uh, rooms class that I like. Might, might ask him out. Uh, I think his name's uh, I think his name's like Michael or something. Yeah, I might ask him out. Or am I as this dude in my um potions class, Daryl? Oh, I do like Daryl. He was very yes. helpful when I tripped and smuggled the I mean tripped and knocked the muckweed into the never mind, yes. Very helpful. Yeah. Good man, Daryl. He would oh, be yes. fun. Yes, he would. How are yeah. you going to ask him though? I will. I will think about this straight up walking up and say, "Hey, you want to go out with me? Go to prom?" Just like just that. Up, well, oh. what do you want? Yeah, what do you want me to do? Like, you could send your familiar with a note, mysterious note. I've read about it in a book, and it seems like a fantastic idea. I'm sure nothing could go wrong. That. Let me think about this for a minute. That actually might be a good idea. Right? It seems what? ridiculous you know the first time you think about it, but then you're like, yes, who can say no to a familiar delivering a note? I know. It's so thoughtful and personal. I know. It's so intimate. 
I know. Why can't you do that with Tim? No, I could not do that with Tim. Why? Because what if he's read the story and he already knows about the familiar delivering the note? Then it wouldn't seem original at all. Tim needs yeah. someone who's uh, original. As you're looking over, just with your eyes slightly glancing, you notice that he has moved on over to wand uh, curls uh, with one wand in either hand. He's just kind of like on the bench like this. It's probably like five, ten pounds. It's crazy. It's ridiculous. Well, how about you? There's gotta be something we can do to get you get Tim to on a date. Maybe Shania will have an idea when she comes back with our bits. Yeah. I mean, shoot. Do you think I should ask McMurray? He is a boy. I mean, not to the McMurray. dance, about Tim. Well, yeah, you can. You can do that. Or, well, even though, even if I suggest you go talk to him, you, you'll just, you, you probably won't like that idea. So, how about we ask his friend, and if we end, if, if that works, what if, we can't magically like put a note in in his lock in Tim's locker, can we? I'm really glad but, you like, said a note in Tim's locker, and not a thought in Tim's brain. That hadn't been crossing my mind at all in this moment. Maybe we could put a note in Tim's locker. Yeah, they, they don't really have lockers; they have tractors. We could sneak away. into his tractor after dark, oh. and by the light of the northern <laughs> stars, slip a note. And then in the morning when he, he's there getting ready for school, as you do in your tractors, he'll see my note. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yes. oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. It's all coming together. Oh. I'm a boot oh. to have a beautiful plan. Yes. Did I do it right? A. Yeah. Yes. It, it, it's <laughs> so beautiful. <laughs> He won't, even, he won't even know. He'll probably just open the door and be like, what's this? And you know? Oh. Oh. I'm going to start drafting my note, and then I'm going to do homework. And maybe I should write about the, the goose incident, you know, make notes for better technique for next time. I think it was more honky yeah. honk instead of honkety honk, maybe. Yes. I'm going to work on it. Yes. Yeah, yes. though it does cross your mind, do... Do you dare write something physical down for such an incriminate, incriminating offense? It is, is it wise? I don't know. Instead of goose, I'm going to write cloud. No one will mind if I shot a cloud. And they're in the sky, so it's completely logical. You know, I want to clear True. the path. It'll be, yeah, it's goose. Goose becomes goose. cloud. Whenever we talk about the yeah. incident, it will be a cloud. cloud. We need to tell McMurray and Shania. Where are, they? Tonight is, where are they? Where are they? Yeah, what you guys up to? Picking up the oil and, and she's just loaded down with food. And she sees Ben, she's sitting at the counter waiting for the drinks. She walks over and just kind of kicks him in the ankle with that little side kick that you do. Come on, let's go. You're muted. You're muted. Sorry, I grab the drinks and I... Uh... I follow uh, Shania to our table or wherever we like to sit, our usual place. And I purposely walk around in front of Tim. How you doing? Oh. Oh. And I nod oh. to one of the other guys on the Hakamoose team. Are they... yeah, fuck you too. She... she heads off. Did she... Oh God! Oh no! Oh jeez! She walks over, oh, sets no, all she... the food down. What? Oh, I think you just... he's rude. But you haven't talked Dad. to him yet. No. We... What, what we are was... you doing here? 
Waiting we for you. To bring up in. My oh God. I'm oh, going back to the McFlurry. Ah here it goes. We okay, Shania, Min, we had a plan. We was gonna write to the guys we were thinking about taking to the prom. And she was she was we was gonna like sneak it to their tractors and, and you know, put it on, put it there and okay. everybody will be there. We're, yeah, that was, was the plan how you for doing? And he said nothing, and I told him that you know he was being rude. So I called him on it. And what? He was being rude. He didn't say hi. Didn't even ask me how to. Okay. Well, you don't go I, around I, sneaking I... into guys' tractors. Well, I, I mean, it worked on I... me. It didn't take much to work on you, Benji. I mean, well, I, you know, I... Lucas had to be the first one to make the move, I guess. So. I have snuck upon a couple uh, tractors in my day that I shall not name, but they were not tractors back in Germany. That's what I'm saying. Uh, but what am I trying to say? I don't know. But like McKenna's went, me and McKenna came up with a plan to like, you know, do a thing. And oh God. Still okay. Dear diary, today is just the worst. I killed a goose, and then Shania talked to Tim. I was right there. Full stop. Carries on. Is in the Muck Murray, writing furiously in her diary. Yeah. You know, uh, Tim I talked to Lucas. <laughs> How is Lucas? I haven't seen him in a while. Well, he's just inside back there with the rest of the Hockenloosers. Um, is, 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 uh, uh, is, is, is Daryl there with them? Yeah, the guy all in... there. They're playing with their pups. all the gals, too, from school. Uh, Savannah gets up, and she kind of does, she's, she's gonna, like, Sneak over to like where where the table where the team is and just kind of peek it, see where Daryl is, so she can just look at him for a minute. Yeah, Daryl uh, currently is doing uh, pull ups with a floating wand. Oh. Okay. What do I want to do? Nope, I ain't gonna. Mm -mm -mm -mm. I have a plan. Gonna stick to it. I come back. And I'm like, okay, so we need to. Okay, McKenna, we need to do this either tonight or. Stop. I don't know. Hold on. What? Emergency. What? Time out. Did you hear that? I think I just heard something terrible. Uh, Brother, we just hit 20 retweets. And retweets oh, means. Snap. Rehonks. Oh, no. oh geez. So, oh, no. you guys no. see a very beautiful-looking um, <laughs> McKenna, but it's obviously not McKenna. It's a goose with the same little, the same little thing on its head and like a plaid shirt going up to Tim. Oh, Tim immediately looks over and begins conversing with this goose McKenna alike. It's oh, a geez, I don't goose. Know if he has the brains. Hey, McKenna! It's uh that 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 goose is kind of talking to your man there. I know. Do you think he's going to say yes? I can't watch. And at that very, speaks. at that very moment, you see his head go up and down, Ooh. and the goose's head turns over <gasps> to you, McKenna. Ooh. Oh, jeez. Oh no. 
so oh, oh no and you see them you see them walking back towards his truck feather in hand <gasps> oh no he's been okay. feathered and I and I give McKenna a hug and I'm just like they're there like awkwardly like I do not know how to deal with this but I'm doing my best <laughs> I just uh, slide the rest right. of the oh. tin that's in front of my cannon. Just... <laughs> this ugly, so what big, I do. and eating all the rest of so big. I'll go get more tin bits. I, I just... And just that's why I always order, order my tin bits. Timmy thingy, please. I, 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 I know, I know. We, you know what? We, we gonna get them back. Okay, that, that, that dude's eight, eight, uh-uh. See, and my and, and, and we don't do that crap like that. We we gonna get him back, okay? Then you're gonna talk to him and you more ten bits. <laughs> you see, it's gonna work. I I know. I I know. I know it's hurting me as much as it's hurting you, McKenna. I understand that. We gonna get him back from him, okay? Do, do, you, do you trust me? I hate. I hate Canada and I hate Tim. <laughs> I, I know, but I know, and I'm literally like patting her on the shoulder, like I know. We we gonna get him back, but see, this thing about about men, they they they, they don't want the geese. They, they geese ain't gonna do nothing to him. Probably date him and marry him, but we shall not talk about that. Anywho, we shall put a feather in them. Uh, no. We, you know, McKenna, we, normally I'd be a little annoyed at you for saying those kinds of things about Canada and geese, but honestly, right now, them geese have pissed me off pretty darn, pretty darn too, so. Yeah. I think, uh, and I look over at my truck where there's still, like, just the grill in the, is just mashed in and full of feathers, and there's, yeah. like, steam coming out <laughs> of the hood, and I'm just like, you know, between them taking Tim from ya, and them breaking Bessie over there, I'm pretty sure it's war. But I don't know yep. if the three of us can just do it. This flock of geese ain't going south to this winter. Oh no. no. They they we going we going to get Tim back, McKenna. Okay. Crank my wand like a shotgun. <laughs> There's a lot of crab in this apple. Stiff upper lip, <laughs> McKenna. Stiff upper lip. I'm sorry. It's Never okay. apologize we, for we... feeling. Well, hang on a minute. And uh, Shania is just going to kind of do take her wand and just do one of this, do this with it, and f fix McKenna's makeup. Aww. Mm, <laughs> best. Best friend I could ask for. Girl, Thank you. Watch out. You can't get him back with the hole in the, you know. Yeah. We got time to plan. It's it's a while before the uh, before the dance. Yeah. Yeah. As and, you're uh, kind of thinking about the future, um, from the sky, a, a little Polaroid comes down, and it's of. Uh, a goose with lipstick, uh, very much like McKenna, maybe a little bit more dolled up, with um, Tim. It looks like they may have went to the strip mall and maybe taken a picture together. I don't know. Oh, yeah, they're dropping propaganda. This is definitely war now. Okay, they mess with my friend. They go, okay, that's it. Wait, they mess, they, we're done, bro. Miss... Let's go. Friends. They... I'm about to say something I can't believe I would ever say. What if this isn't just about me? What if the goose, the goosen, are trying to take over the school? Think about it. Oh. Oh. See, oh no, now... they would start with the hawkmoosers too. Oh, come on, not the hawkmoose. Okay. You take the hawkmoose right. and 
That's basically everyone important in the entire school. Right? I, oh. Yeah, I mean, yeah. Okay. Uh, I just got yelled at for being loud. Sorry, Mum. <laughs> Sorry, Dad. <laughs> I always have paper. Alright. Hold on. Give me a sheet of paper. I take the paper. <laughs> and I I write there a little note. I snap my fingers, bring back uh bandit. I say bandit. See that uh, nice bull right there? That's Daryl. Bend the note on his um collar. I said, "Now, go, go get him." So that's what Bandit does. He goes over. He like kind of after going after some many folks, he go over, sit, sit in front of Daryl. It waits till he gets the note. Yeah, Daryl currently uh, is using his uh, legs to do some like kind of like the little ab crunchers, uh, using his wand as kind of leverage as floating in space. Uh, but he grabs the note and opens it up. What's it say? It says, "Dear Daryl, like to go to the dance with me." Yes, no, maybe from Savannah Morgan. Kind of looks over to you, looks back at the note. When he touches it with his wand, um, after it kind of white, it's got some sweat on it, so it kind of like cleans it up a little bit. Uh, and the note kind of flies back at you, uh, kind of like a bird. Right onto your head. I take. Oh, I take the bird and I, and I read what he says. Hopefully, it's the right one. I believe in what, you. Did, did he, uh, hope he says yes. I'll go get yes. my ten bits. <laughs> <Yes! laughs> ah, there you go. Written in Comic Sans okay. on the note is yes. All right, I got a date. So now, now we, we have to. You're gonna go out well, with a guy who uses Comic Sans? He's a fixer upper. He's not papyrus. That's a lot of fixing. That's a lot of fixing. <laughs> yeah, I'm good with that. All right. We got my date now. We just need to find McKenna's, and then to, and then we have to go. My hands are rubbing together like I, I have a plan. It's a master plan. Yes, you have your plan face on. Yes. What is your plan? We must stop the geese from taking the school. I'm over yes, Tim now. Yes. Tim was so oh. when I liked him. I'm over him. I know. I know, cause I'm not gonna ask you to take my take my cousin to the prom, cause oh boy. Uh, Wait, well, who's your cousin? Just in case. My cousin. Uh, <laughs> uh, my 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 cousin George. You don't you don't want to date George? You you saw George, George? four times. George, George you Jack. know what? Uh, yeah, that George. That, yeah. George yeah. the Jack. That one, you don't trust me. Oh, yeah. He, uh, yeah, he's not lad. really my type. I'm, I'm sure he's lovely, but he, he, you know, what about him? Sorry, you know, no, he, that he, was the end of my always, sentence. But, yeah, but, dot dot dot. Full yeah, sentence. Yeah, let's dot dot dot. We don't mm -hmm. want to go into the door story. Mm -mm. No. 
Uh, I'm gonna. Nope. I'll. I'll tell everybody. I'll be right. Uh, I'll be right back. And I'm gonna head back inside. Um, and kind of give Lucas that kind of bit of a nod again, real quick, and go sit at the counter. Because not a lot of people know we're dating. I think only these three do. Yeah. Yeah, Lucas. You know how high school is. Over at you? Yeah, people people being weird and awkward. Uh, Lucas kind of sends. Don't always make sense. <laughs> so there's a special thing that you can do because of the very thin layer of lube, uh, which is send special little messages. So via this little Crazy. kind of loophole, into. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, make sure you, that you lube your loophole. Yeah, you lube your loophole. Lube that loophole. And it's you fine. Know, we've already uh, had this class before. <laughs> they had the health service come in. We don't need to talk about it again. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so he he uh he kind of places his wand on the bare wood, uh, a little bit of that thin layer of lube, puts some color into it, uh, and it kind of slithers down over to you uh, as this little squiggly heart. Um, yeah. I kind of give him this look like... Uh trying to talk to you, but I'll, uh, is he sitting next to me or is he still over with the rest of them? Uh, he's, he's coming over. He, he's kind of following in the okay. wake of the lube. All right. So once he kind of gets over, I'll just, uh, you know, order another drink to go or two, just to make it look like I have an actual purpose for being there. And, uh, I, I tell him like, you know, I think that, uh, like, there's a a rogue uh, flock of geese that are trying to do some nefarious things, and I think they roped in your uh, furta there, uh, Tim. Oh, did he? Uh, I thought he went on with uh, that uh, that puck bunny uh, McKenna. Just not hey, too no, long ago. Hey, no, don't you call her that. I know no, you don't mean anything by it. Right. She's downright distracting. I mean, not my type, but I'm sure many of the fellas have been talking about her, as well as some of the others in the locker room. Yeah. And you really should be focusing well, on the game. That wasn't her he walked off with. She's still out front in the bench, and uh, them geese are doing some nefarious things. I think it's one of them uh, oh, deep gen flocks from up north. Mm. It's hard to fight that sort of Not thing. Not our usual talk. Yeah, yeah, well, they took one of your uh, took one of your boys, so the rest of y'all better be uh, on watch. Just giving you a friendly warning. Well, but how are we supposed to? Uh, uh, I mean, it looked like McKenna who was was following Tim there. So, how are we supposed to tell the difference? I don't know yet. You know me; I'm not that good with this kind of stuff. I'm. I'm the fighting magic. That's the best at grades I get here. Yeah. Might need to talk to one of our teachers. Maybe learn a thing or oh, two. I think it's but... time. Yeah. I think it's time to put some W's on the board. Uh, I mean, if, if anything, if we can figure out if McKenna, the one that you have, is a true one or just another goose. They're nefarious creatures, them. Magical. Ridiculous. Yeah. Normally they're not so bad, but these ones are. Uh... And I kind of like nod my head towards my truck where it's steaming out front and uh, kind of oh, cause some trouble with them. They, uh, right when I was getting her back into shape. Are you going to say a eulogy or that. something? You what? going to say some words? Are you going to say some words for it? No, I'm going to get her back to the shop. See what my pa can do for her. Yeah, that's fair. I don't know. My mom had a truck like that. She knows how to work on them, too. Okay. Well, why don't we go over to McKenna there and uh, maybe ask her some personal questions to see if it's indeed the goose? Or the real? No, I know it's 
I know it's the real McKenna. You know me. You know. I know. I trust her. Are you I saying you could never get? Was. You would never get bamgoozled, or goozled, by a goose. Well, unless that goose. You just went on and on about fight. Hours. You just went on and on how you got good grades for fights and not so much with the brains. Yeah, you know, don't get lippy with me there. I know my friends. Okay, okay, I yeah, I, I trust you. Fine, all right. If that is the true McKenna, me and my boys, we got you. If there's a puck bunny out there taking our, uh, our fur and, and keeping the boys on from the W, we're going to be out there and, and making sure we get them back. Puck goose. Puck goose. And you yeah. know McKenna doesn't mean anything by it. Yeah, I hope so. Uh, uh, was his Justin? Justin is or Tim or something like that? Whatever his name is, uh, I know he fancied her. Yeah, well, we'll have to fix it. Just keep an eye out. That's all I'm saying. You got it. All right, I'm gonna go do some more reps. Enjoy. I'm going to grab my drink and head back out to the rest of the gals. <laughs> All right. Well, there. Uh, Lucas is going to keep an eye out for the goose. Make sure they don't uh, mess with the team. But that's a temporary solution. Chennai is currently holding a possum by the scruff of the neck. Wayne, I told you, that was homework. You can't eat a homework. Clips him on the nose. No, we had this. Is, no, no. Wayne is still eating your okay, homework. One, one. Well, you know, I put him in there with the plants and. The, yeah. No. Right. All right. One. She pulls out a timbit, gives it to him, stuffs him back in the bag. Yeah, I always like Wayne. He's a good fella. Yeah. yeah. He's a good boy. Part near the best familiar I ever had. Just next to you, there's a slam, a palm of a hand onto the table. As someone you've never seen before sits down before you. He's wearing a very large coat. Beady eyes. And somewhat of an orange mouth. Maybe yellowish. It's kind of hard to tell. So how are you now? We we can see who you... Oh. Good and you. I'm we, new in we town. Be yeah. yeah, welcome to yeah. town. Yeah, Thank welcome you. to town. I'm Shania. That's McKenna and Benji. Savannah. Hey, yo. Yo. Hello. Hi. I'm Mick Goose. A pleasure to meet you. Mick Goose. You're from one of the up countries. Say. No, I am a normal person, wizard, just like you and, and the rest of the folks here. Um, I have human fleshy hands, uh, just like everyone else. So let's not be being rude, eh? My, what human hands you have. Like you know, people who usually have to to have to walk around stating their humanity aren't necessarily humans. Yep. So no, no, no reason to be awkward there, bud. Would you like a timbit? I'm gonna push the timbits forward. Shania. What? We are having hmm. a private conversation, McGoose. Um, it's very nice to meet you. Uh, 
I mean, we talked to you when you first got here. Didn't make fun of your name. True. Fair. Didn't. Yeah. But I did not look like a goose pretending to be a person. <laughs> What'd you say there? Is that a person? Uh, she said you <laughs> have very nice hands, Magoose. That's, that's what she said. She had, you have very nice hands. Very nice. She she had a run-in with one of them Canada goose, you know, the ones that, uh, it wasn't nice. She's not used to them. Them DJs from up little, north. On, yeah, she's, she's a little on edge about the goose thing. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Mean anything about it. That's in person. Yeah. Uh, that's fine. I you mind if I. Uh... No, no geese, just clouds. Yeah, yes, clouds. So... Yeah. Actually, no, the, the plural the... for geese is, is geese and. Yeah, so you know. I know that. Yeah. Did not... no, oh, I don't no. think that's right. But No, it's right. Uh, Yeah, geese and. Uh, in any case, uh, you mind if I sit here and eat some eggs? Oh, I mean, we, we, ten bits. we ain't stopping you. Normally eat eggs? I mean, human. Of course, humans eat eggs. Don't don't mind me. I'm sorry. It's been a day. Yeah. No she, Yeah. Yes. Them them evil clouds, man. The worst. Those clouds are the evilest clouds ever. You don't know when they're going to come and hit you in the face. They or just the try on nowhere. We should really get home curfew. Yes. Homework. Actually, I was wondering if you could watch over my eggs that I'm about to eat and I place it upon the table. I have to use the facilities. Yeah. A uh, little hole in the ground, uh, front facing, a little bit of trinkling, uh, and then step out, clean hands. Yes, is that okay? Yeah. If you watch well, I, my I've eggs. got some chorn. I've got some chorn. I need to do, but yeah, go ahead. Go yeah, ahead. My, okay. my don't diddy. think you're supposed to. Don't think you're supposed to watch other people's stuff, unless I'm just thinking of the airports. I, I'm just airport thinking of the airports. Thing. Fine, and the trains. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Alright. Uh, so I won't be more than ten your minutes. Did you eggs yourself? Did they... Are you asking if I bought yeah. it from a store? Uh, no, no. Yes. She's asking, did you pack it yourself? Yes. I yes. I farm these in, on a farm. If that's what you're asking. Good. All right. You're going to be. Ten minutes in the bathroom. Yes. Well, get and out. First, of you uh, and in, you first you insult my uh, my hands, and now now you're inferring something about my my my. No, was no, it? I'm sorry. Stomach problems? Please attend to your your needs. Please. Wash yes. your hands afterwards. Excellent. Very nice hands. If yes. I have problems with my butt, it's my my problems. It's not yours. How did we end okay. up in this conversation, and how do we leave it? I, 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 I can call my daddy, and he can drive. He can he go here and pick 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 us up. I can do that. Mister uh, McBlues, why don't you get on after it? We'll watch your eggs. We'll be here. We'll wait to ten minutes before we leave. Excellent. Yeah, we can do that. He places three eggs on the table, and then flies away. Yeah, that's a booby trap. Ah, ah. Do we leave the I, eggs? Do I, we run? What do we do? Eggs. I say we uh, can, can we look at the eggs? Are, uh, what do these eggs look like? What do we... Can we check them? What can we infer from the eggs? <laughs> yeah, they're, yes. they're, they're thick. Oh, you can you can use uh, divination or, or however you feel would be most appropriate, that type of magic, to yes, look at these Yes, I would like to see eggs. where these eggs came from five minutes before now. Not in too much detail, Wait, what? <laughs> Five yeah. minutes before. So, five minutes prior? Yes. Yes. Previously on okay. Egg Wash. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Not in too much All detail. Right. Yeah. 
So, uh, we're going over the the magic uh, again. Uh, which is always fun. Uh, all right. There we go. Spell checks. So, magnitude. Uh, b- bends the rules of reality or breaks the rules of reality? What do you guys think? Uh, break, bend, break. Bend, break, break. break. I'm gonna go up break, 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 break. All right, break, breaking break. it. So that's a plus break. seven. Uh, area of effects. Uh, they're they're a tiny little eggs, so just plus one. Uh, durations a few minutes. Uh, so one. Uh, so now you are up to to nine. nine. It looks like. And how many times have you, gosh darn, broken time? How many times have you used this spell before? The number I tell people, or the number that's in my diary, secreted away with a code. Okay, uh, a lot. Yes. Like <laughs> okay. <this trick. laughs> I was like, what? All right. So it's a nine. <laughs> All right, nine. What, what if my, Can I roll with brains? I have a strength. Hmm. Well, I have a strength that's called loyalty, which lets me spend an adversity token to give a friend a plus two. So. Ooh, excellent. So you got a plus two to that roll. Can I and roll how with How are you helping? Yep, yep, you roll with um, that type of magic. By uh, picking up whatever bits of, uh, of the spell that, that McKenna drops, Shania will pick up. Excellent. Okay. Go ahead and roll. So I reach into my bag and I pull out my magic eight ball. And I give it a really good shake. And I say, Magic Ball, look at these eggs. What the fuck? I mean, what the goose? Um, all right, I got, I got a 13 with the dice. Plus, I get a 1 from my wand. So I will tap the Magic 8 Ball at the end of my casting to get the wand. So that takes me up to 14 and then plus 2 from Cat takes me to 15. Alright. What does this look like as you're breaking reality and looking five minutes ago? So I shake the 8 ball and for everyone very briefly the world kind of shakes a little bit blurry besides their vision. And then I'm just staring at the eggs. Just frozen. Time stops for me. Yeah. I'm somewhere else. I'll be back. Ah. Yeah, and like watching a, a little movie, uh, you see McGoosen uh, plop, already use the restroom and plop out some very particular looking eggs. And then with magic that defies um, magic you've seen in a long time, uh, enchants them with some sort of spell. Then he puts on a trench coat, a hat, with some plaid on it, and walks over. <gasps> oh no. Oh. What? These are bad eggs. What is it? Really? Are you sure. Yes, he put magic on them. Okay, we got a jack. Did he put it on to preserve them? I don't think so. I think these were intentionally meant for us. He dressed up in a trench coat to deliver them himself, having just pooped them out in his little goose poop of an egg. Multiple eggs. Goose poop eggs. It's kind of disturbing. We should go okay. very quickly. Crack. Quick to the book, Murray. Uh, Are we uh, heading back to my truck? That's uh, not doing too well. McKenna hot. is. McKenna is like off the yeah. bench and running for Bessie. <laughs> Which she calls I... the school Grab the tin bits. Come on, Benji. I, uh, <laughs> we all make a run for it and dive into the non existent passenger door. Yeah, I'm and then like, I... uh, Deuces out the door. This, huh, I guess I guess I'm driving, I guess. Wait, 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 wait. We should watch, see what, what happens, and then we can drive away. If it's something bad. Okay. If it's something that we need to deal Genial. with, we should beat it. Okay. 
Shania leaps into the back, goes flat, covers her head, and then pops up just so you can see this bunch of her over the edge. <laughs> and the rest of us are peering out a wide open door. <laughs> There's a non existent door on the truck. <laughs> yeah, so uh, you guys are watching the eggs crack. And then a little baby goose comes out of it and just kind of wobbles around and falls onto oh. the floor and is like looking around. And then the other two crack and they're just like, <laughs> Oh, Shania is back out of the truck running towards the, the baby goose and she's going, Honk, 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 honk. Yeah, Shania, like, no, oh, they'll imprint. No. Honk, 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 honk. <laughs> it holds up its little oh, no, feathery honk. hands towards you. Honk, honk, it looks like it wants a hug. Like a wave. Honk, honk, honk. Shania! Oh, no. What are we doing here? I, oh, oh. I <laughs> run back to get Shania. Go, Shania, I, I know no, 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 you can no. talk to me. Maybe you be, no, you we, just I, have to know I, how to talk I, to him. It's just a baby. Honk, 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 honk. I know they are they are the most adorable. They are so adorable. Oh, no. They're oh, so adorable. Oh, 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 oh. Yeah, and it goes. <laughs> and, like, its mouth opens up, and, like, this shot of magical energy shoots out from its mouth, aimed right at your face. Uh, so how are you going to dodge this? Or, or just take it? <laughs> I, I. She's going to dodge I, it, yeah. Janaya is just going to kind of go, naughty, naughty, which is something that she picked up from McKenna. Naughty, naughty, and then dodge out, just kind of duck out of the way. Babies don't do that. That's naughty. Excellent. Go ahead and roll a flight test. Oh. Oh. It's one of the Did things about being the awesome eccentric is you're used to running a lot away from problems. <laughs> <laughs> And then I rolled a one on my D20. Oh. <laughs> so it's, it's great. <laughs> you're, you're, you dodge out of the way and this little little baby head looks around and it's continuing to shoot off this magical energy that's burning uh, and setting aflame cows in the distance as they're, they're running around going... <laughs> uh, and, but it Bad. Kind of comes up and sets you on fire. Oh, jeez. Oh, for the love of... I pull out my wand, and I I shoot out a magic spell. I say some weird... I say something weird in German, and, and say, please wash my friend off with fire, something spelly, willy, something... Water, gun... How did this one remember words? Yeah, this. Beep, beep, bop, beep, water. <laughs> beep, beep, bop, beep, water, dang it. All right, so what stat would be appropriate for that? Maybe brains or brawn if you just want to, like, drown her. I just want to get the fire off of her, so I guess I'll roll a, 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 a d4? A brain, a brawn, I think. What a brawn, uh, right? It's up to you on how you're doing it. Roll your best start. Right. Don't just roll a d4. Let's roll do a my d4. Best, my best stat. It has to be either brains or or grit, but I'm gonna try brains. Brawn. You remember See, brains, spell, brains would right? be good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. brains. Good. Give me brains for brains. Brains would be good. All right, come on, come on! Remember something? I I I rolled a four. And you got to roll a magic wrote... dice. Oh, a D4 the magic as well. Dice. All right, I rolled a four and a and a three. So four, seven. five. So what? Seven. Does the seven work? No. <laughs> so. If if I recall, you said um, you want to put out the fire uh, or, yeah. or something or with fire. Uh, so you just, instead of water coming out of your wand, it's just more fire. Uh, uh, I, okay. 
Tanaya, this is not what I wanted to happen. Holy. Uh, there is, I'm on there's fire. now more fire. Where's the other fire? I know. Where's the star goose at? The oh, which one? Okay. McGoose or the goose babies or the goose geese let? Geese let? The I one that's it's... spewing fire at my friend. Yeah, the baby goose, I, I guess, is uh, on the ground, uh, kind of just standing in front of the burning wizard. Uh, so I'm going to pull out my wand uh, and lean out the open door of my truck, or the non-existent door of my truck. And you see Benji put his hat on backwards, which means it's fighting time. Uh, and... I am going to attack the goose with, uh, it, it would be just a regular attack, but it's like getting sucked in the jaw. It's like a magical punch to the face. Nice, nice. Like, if, I, right. I, if, I, if I was close enough, I'd probably just punch the goose, because, you know, it's easier. But instead, you can punch I can use the goose. my, uh, well, I'll take if, it. If you I, want I to... That's fair. All right. So you're doing a long range punch to the face. Uh, so let's go go With to our magic y thingy. With your one. So yeah, magic. that's a fight. Yeah, fight. Uh, so magnitude could naturally happen. You can hit someone with a wand. Uh, air of effect, it's a small thing. So currently you're at a plus two or DC two. Instantaneous zero. And this is probably something you've used several times, right? Yo, oh, yeah. Yeah. So you just you just have to beat a two. This is your jam. Okay. Uh, and that's a fight? Mm-hmm. Okay. So I'm also defending my friends. So this is definitely going to be something that I can do. Oh, wow, I rolled a two, but then I can take my... Because uh, I have the strength uh, guardian when defending another player or an NPC. Always roll both your stat die and your magic die, then add them together. So that's a two and a two, that's a four. Excellent. That makes it. You punch a baby goose. Uh, it falls down to the ground, knocked out. The little beam from its mouth is kind of sputtering out like a little fountain uh, onto the ground. Um, and then you realize that there were two other eggs and kind of running towards you guys are two baby gooselets. McKenna, what you up to? Time to get out of here, girls. The oh, immolating I Shania was... has just remembered how to stop, drop, and roll. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like, I wait a minute. Sitting... In the cab of the McMurray, panicking. So first there's a gooseling, and now there's fire. And then, let me see, let me see what else happened. Oh yeah, Savannah added more fire. That was great. And then, and then Benjamin rushed in and punched the goose. Yes, this must be a Tuesday. Yes. Come on, McKenna. <laughs> remember, uh, remember Tuesday. what they did to you. Get them back. This is your revenge. This is just part one mm. of your revenge to get these darn goose back. You're right. We must save the school. And she's gonna slide across yes. the bench to the driver's seat and be like, I'm sure I can figure out how this thing works and look down at the car to see if she can figure out how to drive this car. Oh. <laughs> it's a four speed on the floor. I don't know. I just push the pedal and we go. Okay. Pedal. <laughs> All the way to the floor. It's clutch. It's clutch. It's a clutch. Both pedal. All the pedals. McKenna. We're like bunny McKenna. hopping along the road. Oh my yeah, goodness. it's like we're just <laughs> coming from yeah. the, the transmission. Yeah. Because it's like gear, oh. what gear? Yeah. <laughs> because it's there a magical truck, after it just you're done. Yeah, it, it just has to scream like a normal person when it's in like the wrong, like it's a you know like having that grinding. It's just like. like is it like the taxi in Who Framed Roger Rabbit, Rabbit, where it's just now turning around, giving me all kinds of like aggro? Yeah, yeah, all this, all this shit. You know, like, what took, the heck, let man? me drive. Here we go. <laughs> it's making the same kind of screaming noise that Shania is. 
Yeah. Yeah. Um, why did so I are buy you... this truck? <laughs> it's a good truck. It's reliable. Uh, so McKenna, are you leaving your friend who's on fire behind, or are you gonna put her out with the truck? I thought they were dragging her along, and we were all going to go. That's my vision of what was happening. <laughs> is that not the reality? <laughs> Uh, the reality is that uh, uh, Savannah right, so, picked up okay, the how about this? and got on fire. I can get the truck moving not very fast, and I managed to get it turned around, and I managed to get it to stop again next to uh, my friend that's on fire, Shania, and Savannah. And I'm like, get in, losers! We're going goose hunting. Oh yeah. <laughs> I, I see. I grab. I grab Shania, and I literally throw her, and I just throw me in there. Like, okay, Benji, come on, we need to go, cause, cause, cause I, I, I have a, I have a, I have hankering for geese, and they need to die. Come on, let's go, let's go. And I'm just sitting there, like. Even, even. Patting down any of the other smoking remnants of uh, yeah. Shania's shirt. <laughs> yeah. Are we? Are we? Are we going to make a moose geese? A moose geese? The second introduction only with moose and geese. But then the moose. No. What of the moose? Are the moose in conspiracy with the geese? What about no, the, the trial? Moose are uh, well, you know what? Well, we moose trial. That's geese. what it is. We gotta go kill the moose then! And the geese in. No, we ain't killing no moose! Wait, Why are we killing moose? We swallowed the fly, and then the cat, and the dog, and then the goat, and yes. then the bear, and the moose. So we're starting let's with the geese. Let's stop Okay, geese. let's kill the- Let's get rid of the geese! And we're gonna have a great old geese. dinner, come on! Let's go! Cause, uh... I'm gonna have it, a feather bed if this is done. <laughs> you're still smoking. Uh, uh, I'm, oh, sorry I'm sorry about happening. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so sputtering out, your vehicle goes out into the ah! sky, leaving ah! behind these two oh, you were talking baby about the truck. teeth. <laughs> As they look over at you like... So where are you headed off to? The school. Uh, yes! I think we probably should get Where an else? adult, maybe? Mr. No. Smalls! Then they'll know. <gasps> Mr. Smalls would know what to do. Yeah! He always has the right song for himself. He always has the right song for the moment. But my permanent yes, record. Good. They keep telling Mr. me it's Smalls a big deal. Mr. Smalls won't understand. He, he, he won't. We won't tell He'll him. He'll understand. We won't tell him what happened. Okay, we'll tell him a little bit of what happened. A goose and, hit the truck, and, and, uh, there was a lightning storm, and the goose started accident. with us. Yes. Yeah. The goose started it. Yes. They didn't get right away to the truck. Yes. You're right. Everybody didn't obey knows. the laws of the sky at all. Yeah. Well, they're them degens from upcountry. They don't care about right away. You keep saying yeah. that, and I don't know what, what it means. I... What's a degen? Degenerate. Geese. Degenerate geese. geese. Yeah, Let's decent. find Dean Small. Principal yes, Small. Dean. Head Small. Yes. I'm not sure what his title is in this world. Professor Small. Head Dean. Head Dean. Head Dean. Yeah, yeah. All right. Dean, Who's Dean, Dean, Dean. I think you are. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Okay. I'm all driving. You. <laughs> and you, you criticized my driving. <laughs> <laughs> Hold on! Where we're going, we don't need roads! I'm so Ooh, glad Ford wee. put the oh shit handles in this model! <laughs> <laughs> this thing has a roll oh, right. right? It has the light so McKenna, go on ahead. top of the roof. Yeah, go ahead and make a flight roll, McKenna, as you guys are oh, coming man. down to land. It's really sticking the landing, that's um, the hard part. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right? Hopefully it's all about that three-point landing. Four-point landing, ideally. We're in a vehicle. I'm trying to find where you said my stats. Hold on. Uh, give you a plus two again. 
Why? Good? Um, because yeah, I'm rolling like a deep driving. <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah, pretty, yeah, pretty much. Uh, no, clutch! Clutch! <laughs> McKenna! Clutch! I am! I'm coming in clutch. This is me. That's no means! Um, I got a three on the dice. I'm seeing if any of my benefits help me. I don't think they do. What did I even take? Um, hold on, hold on, hold on. I'm reading. Psychic Link, Gifted, Heroic. Nope. All right. Yeah. So, in incredible McKenna fashion, you are in the principal's office uh, way sooner than you thought you'd be. Uh, half of the truck just kind of sticking out into his wall. Uh, he kind of looks over uh, this kind of old man with a beard that kind of twists around his body uh, with several braids uh, in a very nice plaid uh, wizard's robe and the tallest wizard hat ever. Um, he is currently just kind of playing on the computer. This very thick, thick computer. And he looks over. Why? Courtesy Three. of the class of 2022, an art installation for your office delivered. Yeah. McKenna? Had Dean Small, the goose, are trying to take over the school when he came to warn you. <sighs> Front and center, McKenna. Okay. Oh, no. She's right, just for small. This ought to be good. All right, one oh, thing no. at a time. One thing at a time. So, McKenna, you have put your truck through my wall. No, actually, it's Benjamin's truck. Her name is Bessie, right. but I call her McMurray. Three weeks' detention Bessie in the McMurray. room of unrequirement. Oh, um. Benjamin? Huh? No, it's just for you, McKenna. You were behind um, the wheel. Uh, Three weeks. Yes. Yes. Three. I thought it was the clutch. All right, so you've come here into... Don't, McKenna. I'm sorry. Don't make me make it four. No. It's like damn, you forever. Kid. It is. It only seems that way. All right. Moving on to the next issue. What is it? Small children. It seems to be troubling your weird teenage minds. McKenna, I swear to God, if that's your hand being raised. Uh, our uh, children, small children. Yes, young men. Uh, and I'm gonna, like, step in front of McKenna between her and, uh, Mr. Small, and I'm tall enough to, like, and broad-shouldered enough to just, like, block her from view and vice versa. Uh, McKenna was right. We got, uh, we got some, some of them weird geese from up north that are down here and they're causing trouble here in here in Moose Hollow. They didn't get right away and I kind of like nod my head back to the feathers jammed in the grill of my truck. Uh, and now they're after us and they're after the Moosers. They've already beguiled Tim and then they tried to, well they did set Shania on fire. I see. Right in front of Tim's. Not Tim's house. Tim. Uh, Tim. I, the, I swear, I the... gave up smoking two weeks ago. This wasn't me. That better be the case, or else I would have to give you detention as well. I think just to be safe, two weeks detention. Just to be safe. Is that I your was... act of rebellion? You know how it is, Mr. Small. Shania's got chore to do. She, she, her family needs her out there for 
the afternoon. She she can't do detention. I might be willing to knock some of the detention off if you are able to solve your own problem. I have several teacher student conferences this whole day. I can't be bothered to deal with a goose problem. Oh, it's, it's, um, but, 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 but they're magic this, cookies, and I don't think they're the kind that like golden eggs. Yes, it, there is no really, such thing as a mundane goose. They're all magical. But, but these ones are particularly fire. nasty, Mr. Small. Yeah, but Savannah said. I think this is a great teaching moment. The library is still open. You can go over there and research on magical creatures. Maybe figure out a way for you to deal with this issue on your own. You are young people, and I think it's my responsibility to, instead of alleviate danger, but instead to send you towards it, and then thank myself afterwards. Um... Yes, Mr. Small. The, yeah, Excellent. the library smells nice. Real nice. It is. Please use the door to my office to exit. Um, and McKellen? Enjoy the art. Or McCain, whatever. Ah, you students, I just get your names configured and stuff like that. Walk away. Tall. Walk I'll away. Tell my ma to come get Bessie from Aww. you, and I'll like kind of nod my head to everybody to like, oh, let's go before we get more detention. Yep. Chennai puts puts an arm around McKenna and starts kind of walking her out. I'm so sorry. Sorry. Yeah. yeah. Me too. You all told me he would help. Now I can't go to the dance because I'll be in detention. Oh. Come on, come on for me. But he was so. Oh, we'll get you to the dance. How? McKenna, if I have to sneak you out, I will. That worked a lot, hasn't it? I can sneak you out. Yes, it has. Okay. Seems very logical to sneak me out of detention. Because that won't get me in more trouble. Well, you know, Miss Pfeffer Popper is not... She gets tired towards the end of detention. She nods asleep. Yeah. She'll go to sleep. I think... They put the sleepiest teacher we have on detention duty. I think there's yeah. anyone call in action. We have to get those geese. Well, if there's anything that we're doing, it's getting the geese. Even if it costs yeah. all the dance. Yeah, yeah. and as you guys are kind of... The geese, we'll get the geese in. All right, going scorched, scorched Earth method. I like it. Uh, but you guys are having this passionate conversation. Uh, you, the janitor, kind of turns the corner and he's mopping and he looks over. And here y'all going to be going after some geese here. Clouds. Uh, yeah, uh, yeah, lots of clouds are coming, and we have to, you know, beat up the clouds. degenerate clouds from mm. upcountry. Yeah. McKenna goes over to the, the janitor, winter. and she's huh? really highly strung. McKenna's gonna go over to the janitor, and she's really highly strung in swim, and she's gonna grab him by like his overalls. Like, what do you know about the geese? <laughs> M- M- McKenna. Oh, All right, okay. little one. You know, you sure you want to be touching my, my my collar like that? I've been sweating all day, and I just got done doing all the bathrooms no, uh, and the outhouse. Terribly, terribly sorry. I don't know what came over me. I felt American for a moment. Ooh. Yeah. Ooh. Okay. I go to McKellie. Okay. Reacting. Terribly sorry. I... But what do you know about the geese, sir? Don't say that out loud. There's spies everywhere. And he looks around. Follow me. He 
mops oh. down the hall. And then right. there is a janitor's closet that he opens up and slips inside. Follow me. Uh, um, How much worse can today get? Why not? We're about to follow a sweaty janitor into a closet. Three weeks of detention. Yeah, I'm not too comfortable with closets. Okay, you stay out of the closet. You do great out of the closet. Wonderful. Love it. I will go in the closet. I will get the details on the... I will get the details on the goose from the janitor, because that's a logical thing to do. You wait out here and make sure that Mr. Small doesn't know I've gone in the closet with the janitor, because we're not allowed in there, you know. It's a student-free zone. Chemicals. I know. Yep. I don't think that's quite why we're not supposed to go in the janitor, in the closet with the janitor. Now is not the time. (laughs) I mean, you heard Mr. Small. He's ready to toss us to the wolves here. Not the good kind, so... We're just yeah. following his direction by running straight into danger. I mean, that is we true. are solving we'll our own better option. Solving our own problems, yeah. and we only have twenty minutes of game left. Oh, okay. So let's just. Where All right, time? come on, no. in. Yeah, you guys step let's into go. the closet, uh, and it is a four by four closet uh, with it with Clorox and. A Swiffer and stuff like that. Though the Swiffer, you know, is what he uses to go from work uh, to home. Um, he kind of pulls down a, a, a roll of paper, and on it is the visage of a goose. The black eyes gazing upon thee as if you were seeing at Mother Death itself. Yeah, this year is a goose right there, and right there, the matriarch of the thing. If you take that. If you ever take that down, he'd pretty much just letting them all go crazy. It's all like a hive mind of sorts. Say that happened. Say she died accidentally. How do we fix it? Now, I need to know this little lady. Was it accidental or was it on purpose? Is this a court of law? This is a janitor's closet. It was accidentally on purpose, yes. It wasn't premeditated. All right. I overcharged my only. The only thing that can solve this whole thing is if you go right to the source. The same place where it happened. And you do battle upon under heaven and hell. You risk your lives. Or the lives of your friends if you don't want to do it and you just want to skip town. We have to hurry. It's nearly 8 p.m. I need to get home for dinner. All right, then. Get! May God have mercy on your soul. Remember us. Thank you, sister. And he just kind of floats away on this Swiffer. Um... Thank you, sir. So, we are going to fast track this because we don't have enough time. Uh, we'll just we have to Charlie get to prom. Ever. I know, like, if we ever going to get to prom. prom. Who knows? Uh, but yes, let's, let's get to prom. It is prom night. All right? You guys have been having this campaign against the Geeson for quite some time. A war that has raged on through the centuries. Or really just days, but it's been exaggerated because it just sounds more epic in that way. Sleepless nights of geese staring at you while you're trying to sleep. And sometimes they date your boyfriends. And sometimes they date your moms. Regardless, tonight's the night. The geese are showing up. That one goose who took Tim. This is your night. It's time to get some upcountry DJs. Other than that, the place is just a closet? gym. What? Nothing. 
<laughs> the, the, the place isn't decorated at all. It's just a gymnasium. Uh, there's some balloons. It's it's pretty plain, plain looking. It's not very pretty. But yeah. It's the most beautiful night of my life. I know. Mine too. But I must do more with the peace. Yes. We will win, McKenna. And then I'm going to smooch Tim. Because that's what you do in a movie. You win the day and then you kiss the boy. You see your boy kissing your goose girl. Mitch, what are you guys doing me like this? I had one request this game. (laughs) (laughs) Okay. Okay. I gave everyone a thirsty game, okay? This one will be more tantalizing. (laughs) Okay. Yeah. So what are you guys doing? I Uh, would like to Hockamoose tackle that goose. You were going to... to... Tim and the shins. (laughs) Oh god, I, I regret... Then my clothing George teach you that? Oh no. Okay. George has been this, an excellent this... tutor. Can, can, I've prepared can I change her back into a goose? I, I want to change the the goose McKenna back into goose. Yeah. Oh, that's yeah, a good idea. Otherwise, it looks like I'm just entire school. tackling myself. Okay, I see some logic here. I'm sorry, I got co- yeah. caught up in the whole goose blood. I, I, I know. Yes. We're, we're going to... Tackling yourself. It's... Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And you uh, get one of them situations where they get the wand and who's the real McKenna? Which one do I blast? Yeah. Oh, yes! Yeah. Yes! That would have been so dramatic. <laughs> it, it you can have... still do it! Just make it happen! <sighs> okay, okay, here's the uh, plan. Can I just... I will hock a moose tackle the goose you turn her back into a goose and reveal her true identity to everyone i'd like to automatically fail that and turn tim into a goose (laughs) you're a monster (laughs) (laughs) Uh, i will always take an automatic failure uh so (laughs) tim is revealed to be a goose and everyone's like <gasps> they were both this is... I told you. I told you, Wayne. I told you. Oh. And on that first night of EncounterCon, Cat and Charlie's friendship ended. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, I still love both of you. Charlie wanted one thing. Uh, one thing, and we should all look to you for it. Not, not to the goose. The goose is perfectly fine. Uh, that can't have been the real Tim. Tim yeah, the moosers love, are up in arms. You. I'll save you. Somehow. Uh, so are they up in arms the against us or the geese? Huh? The... Are they up in arms against us or the geese? The geese. The one goose. Uh, Tim, who looks to be, who looks to have been a goose the whole time. Who knows? So I pull my hat out of nowhere and I put it on backwards. And I uh, I look over at uh, Lucas, who I was dancing with, and I say, uh, Ferda. Let's do it, man. You doing this? We're doing it. Get these geese. And I roll my sleeves up because they're down when you're being fancy. Yeah, he pulls out two wands and kind of like twirls them in his hand like, yeah, let's do this. He's really good with his hands. I... Oh, I know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, let's get I it back to Thirsty again. <laughs> I, I tend to Daryl like, I, I, I'm sorry, honey, but I, I, I got to do a thing. I'll be right back unless you want to help me. Cause this this is gonna take a very long time. Yeah, he he, he puts his mm-hmm. hat on backwards. He takes off his shirt, 
Actually, he rips oh. his tank top. He just goes, wham! He's like, let's do this. Like, w when he says, let's do this, like, his his left peck bounces and his right just kind of, like, bouncing oh. off those syllables, you know, as he starts walking oh. over to this goose, who the goose is also, like, rolling up its plaid sleeves, like, let's do this. Oh. I'm going to marry that man. Don't remember I that. And I just go rushing in <laughs> with my wand out. Excellent. So everyone, let me know how you're going to fight. We're going to do roll one roll for the whole fight to see what can be gained with this, if love can be found, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. So let's start with Savannah. I'm just going to just blast fire at this chicken as this geese as hard as I can because I am sick and tired of this geese. <laughs> All right, let, let's get, uh, that sounds like a fight. Cool. Are you sick and tired of this mother trucking goose at this mother trucking yes. dance? Heck yes. I'm so tired. Mother All plucking. Right. I thought of an even better one. Carry on. Yes. All right. <laughs> uh, I rolled a four and then I'm supposed to roll a, my magic sting in my jig, which is a deep crap four. Mm -hmm. Which I rolled a four, so four plus four is four. You, uh, six, you re roll eight. it, re roll it, oh. and add it. Explodes, it's exploding right now. Oh, yep. So I roll Keep a rolling that d4. Mm -hmm. Keep yep. rolling oh. the d4, and as long as, long oh. as it rolls a four, you keep rolling it. Oh, okay. Uh, rolled a three, so oh. roll it again. Four plus four is eight. No, that's it. Four nope. plus four is eight. Yeah, plus three it. is eleven. Eight. Yeah. Excellent. Let me know what happens as geese kind of crash through the windows, each one landing uh, superhero style, uh, much like an Avenger, as this battle okay. rages on. I point my wand, and I say the Harry Dresden word, Fuego! And I would just do my one like this, and all the geese in turn into flame, and all the flames are popping out and stuff. And then, like, you hear this crackling glee from Savannah, like, <laughs> burn, burn. That's it. Cool. All right. So, on a. Mitch, can I add a roll... detail really quick? Yeah. Yeah, go ahead. In the corner, there's a really proud looking teacher going, 10 out of 10 for that cackle. Yeah. <laughs> Cackle 101. Like, yes. Mm -hmm. You're getting a passing grade. <laughs> yeah. uh, so, I need you to roll a, a D20 on a scale from not so hot to 20 being hotness. I'm going to I'm going to figure out what happens to your boy. Oh, okay. Wait, I roll it? Yeah, you roll it. Or... This is No, you. All right. Just let me know what you get. Alright. I, I I rolled an 18. Alright, alright, yeah. So like the, the flames kind of consume uh parts of, of his his outfit. So kind of like um <laughs> let it burn that music video. Uh was it Usher, right? Oh my god, yes. Yeah, uh, Usher. yeah. Yeah, he looks amazing with like the flames in the background and and oh my gosh, like he's sweating, getting all damp and like it's a it's a good night to to be you and him. Um so yeah, who's next? I am opening the final giveaway for the night. Exclamation point loot in chat to be in it to win it. Thank you. I will go next. I look at that disco <laughs> ball. Up in the sky, because it's a school dance. There's always a disco ball. Yeah, that's fair. And I it's consider, like this little tiny thing. I consider arcing a ton of electricity off of it, because I know I'm really good at that spell. But instead, I want to use the disco ball as a many-eyed seeing thing and channel all of my foresight into it to find out where the real Tim is. Because right, I'm selfish ahead. and have a one-track mind. This is fair. <laughs> we're, we're gonna We're going to get Charlie, that Tim. <laughs> uh, yes. But yeah, that'd be brains. 
He's gonna get her tin bits one way or the other. <gasps> yes. Yes, yes, yes. Well, okay. I. I... <laughs> All right, so an 18 plus a 4 is 22, Holy plus another 2 heck. is 24, plus 1 from my magical wand is 25. Excellent. Where's my Tim? Nice. Much like Beauty and the Beef Beast, uh, Tim is the beast, the goose, trapped in his little goose and body. Only your love, maybe true love's kiss, is the only thing that can release him from this spell. Slow run through the flames and the fire and the feathers. <laughs> Tim. All right. Give me a charm test. Um. Okay. I'm gonna look up my stat. Hold on. I wasn't ready. Uh. Okay. D10. All right. That's this one. That's a one. <laughs> Oh, no. Can I can I spend a uh, token a uh, token to give her uh, a bonus uh, if it would help? Because I have loyal, so each of the ATs you spend to help your friends, you give them a plus two instead of a plus one. Oh heck yeah! It, How it are you helping? Yeah, yeah. If you guys want to help her in this amazing endeavor, just let me know how you are doing it. So I picture Lucas and I are like, there's this battle going on as the Jacks and the Moosers and the Poutiners are battling the geese. And uh, Lucas and I are like flanking uh, McKenna and just blasting geese away from her as they try to stop her from getting to Tim. I love it. Uh, is anyone else helping? Shnaya. Yeah, tonight. Yeah, tonight is. She looks down at Wayne. She's Ferda, and she is going to um, do the whole wand makeup thing again, so that Aww. McKenna is just oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, glowing in the, the sunlight. Makeup, it's, the makeup, the hair is flow. Yeah, there's no wind, but her hair is just like... <laughs> All right. McKenna! Your lips against this goose lips. <laughs> Clip it. Someone can't oh, that. Oh, that. <laughs> People are gonna. People where's, are gonna where's, miss where's that. Where's Pope with the gift? Yes, <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> like that needs to be. Oh man, that'd be I'm perfect. sorry, Charlie. I'm so sorry. I'm not. Love you. <laughs> Here's your next gift. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, so yeah, um, you you feel the very hard and and wet beak against your lips. And then it becomes soft, voluptuous, tasty. It's almost tastes like, like a long day at the farm. You know that sweat that kind of drips down into the mud. Um, it's it's your Tim in your arms. <laughs> 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 the most wonderful kiss that any girl has ever had. Tastes Sing like back. maple syrup. <laughs> <laughs> Meanwhile, yeah, around her, he, explosions, feathers. That's yeah, sweet. explosions, feathers. He's got. He he wraps his, his arms around you like a princess in your 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 strong uh, farm. Not farm hands, because you're from London, but just just your strong hands. Um. <laughs> All right, uh, McMurray, what you got? You, I think you're rolling fight, right? Yeah. Um. So I'll be rolling fight. Uh. So that's my best one. So that. 
And then I forgot, because I have a fighting wand, I get that plus one, so that's going to be a total of 20. Which I don't really need that. Woo! Yeah. All right, sweet. So, so, so I... Yeah, describe what happens, as, you and your boy. <laughs> so as, as McKenna is saving Tim, uh, we square off with a couple of these geese. And I blast one with my wand, and then as the other one comes close, I clock it across the beak with my fist. And Lucas and I are just back-to-back -back blasting geese and socking the other ones that get too close. Yeah. And this is kind of like the beginning... Everybody. Yeah. These moments are what eventually inspires the John Wick movies and the I kill them with a pencil uh, because wands look very close to pencils. Uh, and from a mundane looking at this extraordinary experience, they're just going to think you're fighting people with pencils. Um, and it will eventually become a movie. Uh, all right. Last but not least, uh, Shania. Shania is looking at all of these geese flying in, all these feathers. She goes, you want a flight? I got flight. And uh, Shania just seems to be literally flying through the room, plucking feathers from geese, pulling pin feathers so that they all just plummet. So mean of them. All right, what do you think that would be? Maybe flight for movement, a uh, fight would probably be, mm -hmm. if you're trying to seduce them, charm. No, a flight, because she's using her quickness and her. And, and Excellent. She almost seems to be flying. She's going to get done. All right, let's uh, do this. Uh, so that's 13. All right. All right, you succeed. Let me know how it goes. Um, so. It, she's um it looks like she's doing almost uh wire work as she just kind of pushes off and she's bouncing from the walls and the the bleachers and everywhere there are just feathers and the it ends up looking like a blizzard as she's plucking these feathers and they go flying and uh, geese are falling from the air as their pin feathers are pulled because they can't maintain flight anymore. The whole place is filled with goose down. Excellent. Like, I'm gonna get my feather bat. There is now a no one to share one it with, foot. but I will have one. <laughs> there is now a one foot bed of goose down feathers on the gym floor. It is soft as waffles. Um, that music is still playing, uh, a little bit of country, a little bit of rock and roll. Uh, you can hear in the distance, uh, some very classical music played on the little glasses with the water in it. Uh, it doesn't sound good, nor epic at all. But you guys stand victorious. The geese, that one goose, you remember holding the matriarch in their arms kind of gazes at you on the ground, plucked and naked, but still the fires of hell in its eyes. No. That don't impress me much. Nope. <laughs> you know, you really uh, dropped the ball on that uh, last battle there. You might want to call puberty and get him to drop the other one there for you. Yeah. Oh. All right. I need I need one liners from the rest of you, and then that will be the end of this this episode. Uh. Get uh, plucked. That's uh, that's, got. that's all I got. <laughs> uh, I, I think your goose lips won the day, so you're, you're good. Ah, uh, I guess it's my go. You got plucked, friend. Can I help you with that? Excellent. And as the night falls, the prom continues. Because this is just a Tuesday. Uh, it's no big deal. Uh, and you got choring to do later on anyway. 
Uh, but with the added plus of having nice uh, feather down pillows and hopefully not creating a arc nemesis that will hunt you down to the ends of times. Um, yeah. Everyone. We uh, dinner. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> nom, nom, nom. But yeah, that was uh, Kids on Brooms, uh, Wizard Kenny Edition, uh, with an extra side of duck sauce. <laughs> Key sauce. <laughs> Whew, and this is the end of EncounterCon, day one. Thank you all so much for joining us today. I'm going to hit and find out who our last giveaway winner is. Let's pick that winner. Congratulations, Mitch. Uh, you just won a copy of a game that you already own. Let's let's redo this. I'm not having that. Yeah. You can't win it. <laughs> there we go. It's, it's the goose is doing. Team, <laughs> team Door 67. The book is yours, friend. Drop me a whisper and I will send you the details you need. And Cat, I don't think you saw it, but you won the first copy I gave away. So I will drop you those details very soon as well. Drop me a message. Thank you all so, so much. Let's do it very game. quick. Let's do a very quick outro. I want to hear everyone's favorite moment from today and where we can find you on the internet. Classic EncounterCon outro. Here we go. Brittany, you're up first. All right. Uh, my favorite was just had to be... I'm sorry. All the McKenna. I love her. <laughs> I love her so much. All the McKenna. <laughs> Uh, hello everyone. My name is Brittany. You may find me on Brittany B. Right, where I talk about books, games, me drilling over Gregorishaverse because I really want it so bad. Anyway, you can also find me on my blog, uh, Rebel Fleur X, which is where I just sit there and talk about books. That's me. Oh, I'm still on mute. Cool. Thank you uh, so, so much. And Rex. Same questions, friend. Uh, howdy, y'all. Uh, y'all know me as Rex. I am JTRex2249 on Twitter. It's not a very interesting Twitter account. Um, hanging around EncounterCon is usually where you can, or Encounter Roleplay is where you can usually find me. Um, that place, wording is hard. Uh, I think, uh, I think my favorite moment of I mean, there were so many, but when uh, when Shania tried to go talk to the demon baby goose, and we're all just sitting there like, "No, don't do it, don't do it," and then she gets set on fire by the goose, and then by Savannah, <laughs> and we're all sitting there trying to put her out and fight off geese and start a badly damaged truck. Thank you so much. And goodness gracious, great goose on the fire, Cleric of Cord, Cat. Hi, I'm Cat. I'm at Cleric of Cord. And if you've missed the first two games, um, yeah, I play games on the internet with my friends. Um, this is this has been a great day. I've had a lot of fun, a lot of great games. Um, got to play with so many fantastic people and. It's not even going to touch what tomorrow is going to bring for you all tomorrow. Just you're going to have to watch. I will be sleeping. Um, <laughs> I've got one more game left today. So, um, but my favorite, um, I, my favorite today. Oh, to this game. Um, I, uh, <laughs> I'm sorry, McKenna in the closet with the janitor. Just. <laughs> <laughs> that whole, yeah, um, <laughs> coming to the, no, no, and nope, it was McKenna's first kiss with Tim. That was the moment. That was yeah. <laughs> I I so I I hope somebody has clipped that. Pope, if you're watching, please gif it. Um, yeah, crazy, yes. crazy, yeah. Yes, we need that. The world needs that. Um, but yeah, uh, where can you find me next? Uh, you can find me on Twitter at Clark of Cord. You can find me in the ERP Discord. Um, and you can find me on Thursdays coming back with um, Star Trek Modivius uh, using the Klingon Core Rulebook as we go after the Sword of Kalis Kalpa. <sighs> and it's such a good game. 
Mitch, you know what? I love having you as a GM. I have been envious for the last Aww. three weeks watching you on Cult, and um, this has been a lot of fun. Thank you. <laughs> no it, it, second. It, it, third, it, it right? Was... It was beautiful. I loved it. Loved it. Loved it. Loved it. So I have two favorite moments I want to shout out before I hand over to Mitch. One was the conversation between McKenna and Savannah about how to ask boys to a dance. I love that. And I love when you got your yes. That was beautiful. Good boy, Daryl. And then my second favorite moment was when Mitch ruined my life for the first time and had a goose walk up to Tim. I didn't see it coming. <laughs> well, I mean, the goose had shoes on and had a little your little bow on, so it's perfect disguise. Uh, Mitch, all the same questions, friend. Uh, so I, I think my my favorite moment uh, of the whole thing, um, I, I I think it had to be when when Charlie just straight up fried a goose. Um, I was like, "Yep, that's my plot." There it is. There it is. That's it. That's it. That's just it. Uh, and then kind of having it like destroy half the, the car and that being kind of something you guys are just like, ah, oh, this vehicle. The vehicle kept having more personality added to it uh, throughout the game. Uh, and, and so it just truly became a, a little love bug, uh, as every pickup truck should be. Um, you can find me here at Encounter uh, Roleplay. Tomorrow I'll be playing Zweihander. I will be the halfling prostitute. Uh, so also like uh, Wayne, good with his hands. Uh, so yeah, I'm super excited. All right. Yeah, that truck uh, is like four different colors now. Yeah. <laughs> Beautiful. Well, Brain before I get bottom. yelled at, before I get yelled at again for being loud, and it is getting late. Let us say so long, farewell. Once upon a time, there was a weekend. When the Chaos Chorus came together, and they made something epic, and they called it EncounterCon. It's not over, friends, so I don't know how it ends. That's as far as we go. Everyone wave goodbye now. Goodbye. Bye. Your Chaos Chorus. Encounter. Roleplay presents. EncounterCon.